Romans chapter 15 begins, We who are strong have an obligation to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let each one of us please his neighbor for his good, to build him up. For Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of those who reproached you fell on me. As we saw in Romans 14, Paul teaches the importance of Christians living at peace with one another, even when we disagree on some lesser matters of the faith. Why? Because we're all at different places with regard to spiritual maturity. Some just don't understand the full extent of the freedom others enjoy in Christ. Those that are weaker may have doubts where God has given freedom and may believe certain activities are sinful, even though in themselves they are not. And please listen, Paul is not teaching man-pleasing in the sense of compromising your faith to appease others. What Paul is advocating is a sensitivity to new believers. He's saying the more mature believers shouldn't use their freedom to incite the weaker, to engage in what they were sincerely believing to be sin. Instead of confusing them, we must patiently and gently instruct them in the Word of God, trusting the Holy Spirit to make them understand the true extent of the liberty Jesus has purchased for His people. The Apostle teaches in today's passage that this involves bearing with the failings of the weak. We should seek to please our neighbors and to build them up in the faith. As you go through your day today, let me persuade you to show a genuine sensitivity to those who are weaker in their faith, not an effort to please them, but to protect them as they mature and to please God who provides us with freedom in Jesus Christ.